the US launched a new airstrike against the Taliban one day after Trump held a very good talk with the terrorist group. Trump's entire deal relied on the Afghan government releasing a couple hundred Taliban prisoners, terrorists, but no one bothered to run that by the Afghans. You can't even consider that a negotiation. Basically this, husband hey, I just asked that one girl I think is hot about having a threesome and she said yes and she's coming over tonight, wife we did not discuss this in any way shape or form. No, apostrophe, you've done this in real life, haven't you, look. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, look. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take Wayne Gretzky Michael Scott you slash red velvet cake 42. Trump said he had a very good talk with Taliban leaders we all know that he just ranted to the Taliban about the Russia hoax, Mullah, Crooked Hillary, Time magazine and his wall. The phone wasn't connected to anything. It was a subcon hooked up to a rock with a string. It was a toy phone for toddlers. The cow says Mooat, you are breaking up, in turn standing by, Arabala Akbar. I wish I could laugh at this, but knowing the position he's in, and the agenda he and the GOP are pushing of destroying democracy, I'm fresh out of a sense of humor for that coagulation of low-grade evil. The Taliban changed a policy and started attacking the Afghan security forces yesterday. The deal is getting shaky fast. Well there was no deal so yeah I guess it's shaky. The deal they signed is still on. The US is going to follow through with their side of the deal which requires them to leave Afghanistan. The deal does not oblige the Taliban to do anything, except that they vow to distance themselves from ISIS and Al-Qaeda. The Trump admin chose the term peace deal to distract from the actual content. You know what such a deal is usually called, a capitulation. Nice so we basically surrendered. I guess I should be glad that we're leaving, but holy shit this is a national embarrassment. Maybe it should be a lesson to future nations. Don't fucking invade Afghanistan. Neither the Soviets nor America could do it. It's like Hitler and Napoleon trying to invade Russia and not wrapping it up before winter. So we basically surrender Ed's strategic realignment of troops to the rearward. You mean the deal Trump made fell apart? Where's that shocked Pikachu face? I need like a stockpile of them. Seriously. This is a man that never fills his end of any deal. Not even with his own family. Why do people keep making deals with him? Again he made best deal ever. The art of the deal. I imagine that book will fuel many a hobo barrel fire once the value drops to nothing. With Trump and the Taliban it is just a matter of who will break the promises faster. This is meaningless talks. Much like his great work, insert sarcasm, with North Korea. Taliban has a legit reason for complaint here. Us offered to release political prisoners as part of peace deal, when they didn't have any authority over it. The current Afghan puppet government is refusing to release the political prisoners. So to Taliban this appears as breaking the conditions of peace deal. This is the fuck up of us government. Why did they accept release of political prisoners, when they didn't have authority to release them? Because Chitalini and his band of idiots may have actually thought they did, or could push the release. No argument from me on Don and his boys playing in bad faith agreements. This is most likely what happened. They figured the Afghanistan's government was this to command. See again. D. Says. He spoke with them. For all we know they put someone with a vaguely thick accent on the other line and told him that this was the great supreme head of the biggest Taliban ever on the phone for him. Who the hell talks with a terrorist group to make a deal? Looks like the Taliban out Trump Trump. The negotiations were short. Apostrophe. It's almost like has a liar. That picture makes his hand look so damn tiny. Trump, so. Hey Mr. Taliban. Tally me bananas. I'm just kidding. We kid. It's fun. Anyway, I'm glad we could talk. Speaking of which where are you staying tonight? I want to send you a fruit basket as a sign of appreciation. A huge one. Full of bananas. You don't have those over there in India do you? What's that? You're staying in a Holiday Inn Express in Islamabad. I didn't know they had those in Iran. Anyway, we'll get that right over to you. 
by IEE. General, bomb it, Trump, bomb it. Regardless of your political leanings, Taliban forces violated the treaty and the airstrike was defensive. Read the article, or any other news about it. You guys still good for the airstrike tomorrow? Fucking headlines. Man. The Taliban attacked Afghan forces. Breaking the treaty. The US has a formal obligation to protect the current Afghan government. Read the article you fuckwards. I think it goes to the general premise that the orange potato said he had a good call and then they go and pull some shit. Must not have a been a good call if it pissed them off. He kept them on the phone long enough to trace their location. Slash s everyone knows you can't talk for more than 60 seconds or they can trace the call. It's in all the movies. Reamber when we didn't negotiate with terrorists. Just assume the opposite. Was probably a very bad talk. This entire universe is just one big joke perpetrated on the stupid and the weak. Just Trump things. We live in a strange world. A very good airstrike. He's beyond saving. Silly Taliban. You trusted our devil in chief. So he fucked up the deal with his asinine bullshit on the call. Not at all surprising. J slash K we don't negotiate with terrorists. International diplomacy is weird. Good talking to you. You'll be dead by morning. Have a nice day. Apostrophe. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.